Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. Today's book is Fancy Nancy and the Mermaid Ballet, written by Jane O'Connor, illustrated by Robin Pritz Glasser. The Mermaid Ballet. I have thrilling news. Thrilling means terrific and exciting all mixed together. We're going to be in a ballet. I tell my mom and Jojo it's called Deep Sea Dancers. I am positive. That's fancy for 100% sure that Madame Lucille will pick Brie and me to be mermaids. We play mermaids all the time. Jojo's kiddie pool is our lagoon. A lagoon is a fancy kind of lake. We pretend that our clubhouse is called Mermaid Mansion. Mansions are almost as big as fancy and as fancy as castles. Our mermaid names are turquoise and sapphire, which are fancy shades of blue. Here is my mermaid costume. I designed it myself. I designed mine myself as well, boys and girls. I hope you like it. Not as fancy as Nancy's, but I designed it myself. The night before dance class, I perform for everyone, not to brag, but I am the most graceful person in my family. Ta-da! I make my grand entrance. I do leaps that are called jetés and knee bends that are called plies. Don't you love how so many ballet's words are in French? Oh, maybe Madame Lucille will make me head mermaid. Then I lower my voice, of course. I'll feel terrible if I end up with a bigger part than Brie. Nancy, remember, being in a ballet is thrilling no matter what part you have. I nod. I guess my mom is worrying that Brie won't get a good part too. Today, I hardly wobble at all when I balance on one leg, and I am almost positive that Rhonda bumped into me, not the other way around. Twice, Madame Lucille says, I am making progress. That is fancy for getting better. I say, merci, Madame. Then I curtsy in the special ballet way. At the end of class, Madame Lucille announces the parts. Brie and I sit together, all my fingers are crossed. I can hardly stand the suspense. At pickup time, I tell my dad the awful news. I am a tree and I'm just an oyster, Bree says. My dad acts like this is so thrilling. Dad, you don't understand. My costume will be brown, I explain. There is no way to look fancy in brown. Later, we have a tea party to cheer ourselves up. I say, shh. Cherie, the French for darling, you are going to be the greatest oyster ever. Brie says, nobody will be better, a better tree than you. At the next dance class, we practice our parts and guess what? I'm not just a plain old tree. Madame Lucille tells me to pretend I am a weeping willow. Willows are very graceful, Madame says. 
Their branches swoop and sway and twirl in the wind. I swoop and sway everywhere I go. I make my face look very sad because I am a weeping willow. A week later, there is a startling news. Startling is fancy for surprising, only in a bad way. Savannah, who is one of the mermaids, has sprained her ankle. She cannot dance, but Madame Lucille tells us Savannah can still be in the ballet. She will be one of the oysters and... Brie will take Savannah's place as one of the mermaids. Oh, what? Brie throws her arms around me. She is beaming. That's smiling from ear to ear. I'm so happy for you, I say. Only I don't really mean it. I like it much better when neither of us got the mermaid. At home, I stuff my beautiful costume in the back of the closet. My mermaid days are over. When my mom comes to say good night, I tell her about Brie. I'm a terrible girl, I lied. I said I was happy for her and I'm not. That's not lying exactly. You want to be happy for Brie, don't you? My mom asked me, of course, she is my best friend. It's just hard now because Brie got something you wanted very much. You're jealous, but your heart is so generous and warm, it will melt the bad feelings away. I am 100% positive that my mom is the wisest mother in the world as she hugs me tightly. The next morning I give Brie my fanciest shell tiara. It's yours to keep, I tell her. I wish we were both mermaids, she says. Soon it's time to get ready. My costume is magnificent. My branches are made of tinsel, and I wear a little nest in my hair. I'm going to be the fanciest willow tree ever. The ballet is a smashing success. That's fancy for a big hit. When it's my turn to dance, something happens. I feel carried away by the music. I swoop and sway almost as if I were a real weeping willow. At the end, we get standing ovation. That means everyone jumps up and claps like crazy. My parents give me beautiful bouquet of flowers. Merci, I say. Mom, you were right. It was thrilling to perform in a ballet. We all got the king's crown to celebrate. Brie and I toast each other. That means we clink our glasses together and then we shout, bravo for us, bravo for us. Boys and girls, I chose this book because of course I love Fancy Nancy. I love mermaids. I love being a mermaid, but I wanted to show you the part that I felt was the best part of the book that I love the most. When my mom comes to say goodnight, I tell her about Brie. I'm a terrible girl, I lied. I said I was happy for her, and I'm not. That's not lying exactly. You want to be happy for Brie, don't you? My mom asked me. Of course, she is my best friend. It's just hard now because Brie got something you wanted very much. You're jealous but your heart is so generous and warm, it will melt the bad feelings away. That's how I feel. But your heart is so jealous and warm, it will melt the bad feelings away. I am 100% positive that my mom is the wisest person in the world. That's the part that gets me the most. She felt something. She admitted that she felt it and her mom helped her work through it. And because her feelings and her heart was so generous and warm, she was able to put good feelings in front of bad for her friend. So, boys and girls, 
It is Miss Reynolds with Bored. Better off reading every day. You know I love some fancy Nancy. You know I love mermaids. And you know I love a story where you take the bad, put it in the back, and bring the front forward. And that's what this book is about. I am so thrilled to bring this to you. It has been my pleasure. And also to say to you, you're not always going to get what you want. And I love the term, you get what you get and you make it the best. Because that is what I do every single day. Whatever I get, I try to make it the best. I read this book, I want it to be the best book I read to you. Or the best book that you've heard today. Or the best feelings come out of it. Right? So here we go. This is my mermaid fancy Nancy outfit. And there is my mermaid backpack. Fancy, right? Just like fancy Nancy. You didn't think there wasn't going to be a surprise back there. Of course, there's always a surprise with Miss Reynolds. My little backpack, is it not the cutest? And my mermaid socks. What do you think? Just perfect for a story like this. Boys and girls, have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye and stay fancy, even if your name is not Nancy.